pokey tool here. I'm not going to use that end. I'm going to use the rubber handle. And you'll see where I'm going to go with this. And hopefully it'll make some sort of sense. So what I'm going to do first of all is give my paints a shake. And I'm going to just bring in just bring in one of the colors remember this is from the dandelion you do get that beautiful stencil i'm not going to put too much paint on my mat and this time i'm not going directly from the nozzle what i'm going to do is pick up the pencil oops pencil with the rubber on the end and dip this into the paint and i'm going to go right into the center of my little circle there okay now you can go in more than once if you want if you think oh it's not quite right or i've missed a bit or it's not not let the colour there, you can go in again. Now I'm just going to wipe that off with a bit of kitchen towel because I will be wanting to use it again. And then I'm going to get another colour. This time I'm going for magenta. Magenta does come in with, it comes in not only with the dandelion, it's also in with the flower meadow as well. So a little bit of the magenta, just squeeze a little bit there. I can always put more on, but I don't want that to be drying out too much. And then I want to choose, I'm going to choose one of those rubber handles on this tool here so have a look what you've got paint brushes um, you can use cotton buds as well but you need to sort of set the cut you need to rather than just using the cotton bud with the fluffy bit you need to put paint on the end of it to sort of set the cotton so it's not fluffy it kind of forms a, a more rigid uh, more rigid um, stable end for you to work with so what i'm doing here i'm just using the end of my tool just to put some little dots around there i've not got that particularly even but never mind and then i'm going to go with another color so i'm going to bring in all from the same set i'm going to bring in the turquoise let's just go again and i'm just going to now right i'm going to go with one of my embossing tools now and i'm going to go in the center of those pink dots there just because it helps me get my space in I don't want big gaps in between I'm just going to go in between so it's kind of offset each time I'm dotting I am picking up more paint but I, they will get to, it will get to a point where I'm, I'm kind of using what's already there right now I'm going to go back and go in between each one of those dots now the idea is that when you do this it helps you get things even and I can see that's not particularly even but never mind <laughs> never mind it will it will it will come together I'm sure <laughs> she's saying as she with bated breath right okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go back in with another color I'm going to go with the gray this time same set this is still the dandelion set and I'm going to put a little bit of that on there as well and then I'm going to go with, this time I'm using a larger ball tool. So this one, I'm going to go, I'm going to work on those lines again now. So you can see you're getting the different, the different sizes. I'm trying, trying to keep these fairly close together. Now, it's, it's not hard to get the circle to blob with the tools that I'm using, although I'll just slip there. Um, but with other paints more these aren't runny paints there's something in them there's something to give these paints body so they're not just dispersing they're not just spreading around so i'm just going to build one of the one or two of those up a little bit bigger as well i'm running out of paint on my mat so you can go back in and add a little bit more okay they are a little bit out of uh, size there but not to worry now i'm going to start to change it a little bit and this is another technique that is a little bit different but works very well. I'm using the white and I've got a small ball tool. You can use things like toothpicks, that sort of thing as well. Picking up a bit of paint on this one and what I'm going to do is just start right at the top on the line and I'm not going to re-pick up any more paint this time. I'm going to do what I'm calling walking with the tool. So start in the, at the top and then just one, two, three, four. And what happens is you can see the dots get a little bit smaller then you go back into your paint and then i'm going back on the first dot and i'm going in there again and then walk in again one two three four so you can see it's starting to build a little bit of a pattern so i'm going to continue doing that around these i probably won't go all the way around because i'm going to run out of time let me just do every other one so you can see where i'm going with it okay so 
I'm not doing a great job of that, but never mind. <laughs> right, okay. So just be careful not to put your hand in the paint that's already there, obviously, because you know you will you will smudge it. But it's quite easy if you're not working on a large surface, just to kind of build that up without smudging anything. So I really love that effect with the, the walking. So I'd, I would do that on each and every single one of those. Then you can go back in again. Just keep using the same tools. You decide which size tool you're using. Uh, if I go back to the first colour, which was the petrol, um, I've got two together there. So you can do things like this. So you go one, two, three. I'm walking again. One, two, three. So you're starting to build up build up those designs and you just keep going keep going around in that circle now I am going to bring one in that I did earlier this was my practice piece because I've never done this before this genuinely this is the first time I've ever done it this was a very very quick practice piece that I did before the show so I've done the same sort of techniques I could still keep going if I wanted to so if I wanted a little bit of a an extra white dot or two I can continue to build up but what I also thought was, now, once this has started to dry, what about using the blob paints in the way that you should use them? So, once, because that's been drying a little bit, I can then go over the top with other colours. So where I've got the magenta, if I go in with the grey, it needs to be dry, really, to do this now. Then I can start to go directly with the paint over the top and really start to build that pattern up again so use your tools improvise use things that you've got but you can build up as many layers and as many dots as you want and you start to form these beautiful patterns now what I would say is because that you can use these paints on lots of different surfaces think about things like those plastic foam covers that are plain you could build your own designs on them you know pieces of wood mdf plastic uh, all sorts of things but it's just great fun it really really is so there we are that's just another way that you can work with the paints rather than the way that they were originally designed now i'm going to say hello to janice next because i've not seen her for a while actually but she's here now she's going to tell us all about freedom Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family and you are definitely part of that family how incredible uh, are those paints so we've got more paints on the show as well let's start here because you are getting the stencils and the paints now the paint bundles are specific to the stencils so this is our first option for you you can see how you've got beautiful bright vibrant colors to really reflect uh, the flowers in there make a wish ah oh, 
But when you consider twenty six ninety nine, I mean that is a huge stencil, and then you're getting all six of the paints as well. Uh, absolutely fantastic price, and that is the whole point of these shows, and that's the reason why we've been so busy. So uh, I think a stencil of this size actually lends itself not only to uh, obviously your crafting, your makes, your paper makes, and your scrapbooking, but also home decor, and I think stencils on the wall as well. Right, we're going to move on. We've got more. Our next bundle. Uh, this is our flower meadow. Ooh, we like that. Twenty six ninety nine. You're getting that beautiful flower meadow stencil, and then all those lovely colours of beautiful pinks, purples, violets, yellows. Uh, Twenty six ninety nine is your price. You will notice some colours do repeat. Uh, so here, this colour is also in uh, as the rose. It's also in the first offering. So just to point that out, some colours do repeat. We don't want you disappointed if you do go for multiple options. One eight five six three five for your item number for here. Uh, and then finally, we have our balloon girl. Oh, cute perfect we talked about decor for a room i could see that as a little stencil uh design on a wall uh really nice colors coming through here as well 26.99 your price you're getting all six of the colors and then you're getting the stencils uh 185 635 your item number we actually got some finished inspirations for you so make a wish beautiful and remember the size of those stencils. So that will give you a good indication of uh, the inspirations that we're showing you. So there's our Make-A-Wish, our first bundle. And then we've got Balloon Girl, looks amazing in this. Catherine using the blob paint. The whole team have loved the blob paint. Because, I mean, there are blobs, and then there are blobs. Look at those, beautiful. Just gives it a whole different dynamic. Okay, so... Uh, those are paints and bundles that we have on the show. Remember, they do come with those fantastic stencils. We also have seven-day savers as well. Now, these are around for the, uh, for, I was going to say 24-7. They're around for the entire week or while stocks last. Let's start here because what you are getting is an awful lot. So we've got our metallic paints. We're also getting our primer in there as well. And you're getting your wooden board. So you've got your wooden board, which is... 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters that is your blank canvas to get creative with your mediums but look at all of that for 24 pounds and eight pence you're saving eight pounds there you are getting uh, your primer paste and then you're getting all these beautiful colors now these are uh, metallic in there as well now this is actually I just want to point out these are a crackle a metallic crackle coming through do you want to say yeah they are metallic i didn't want to say anything that'd be wrong so you are getting your metallic crackles and then you're getting your two primers so your black and white so effectively your gessos your primers going in for 24 pounds and eight pence saving eight pounds incredible uh 473934 your item number moving on we have well this is quite cool this is our ndf cats uh, and there's a little, oh, there we go, uh, a little mouse bundle in there as well. Well, I say mouse. And there's a ma little cheeky little mouse just down there. So the cat's chasing off the mouse, and then you've got your MDF in the mix too. So you're getting all of those for £17.97. 584 768 item number. This is everything that you're getting as part of the bundle. So there it is your Craft Yourself Silly MDF Cat and Mouse Bundle. Uh, cheeky little mouse running around. I love those cat poses. Anyone who has a cat, can instantly identify with those poses. £17.97 your price, saving £18, 584-768, your item number there. We've got some more paints for you. The blob paints, which are incredible, the way they work. And uh, Catherine just showing you some of the demonstrations. What you can achieve with your blob paint. Look, as crafters, we get excited when we discover different mediums, something that works in a innovative way. And that's what you're getting right here. So we're getting all the paints. Now I'm just gonna show you, this is one option. You can see all the paints along here, all seven in total, 26.99 for your blob paint. So we've got key colors coming through, your primary colors, and then uh, we've got a rose thrown in the mix as well, and your black. 20% uh, of the stock has gone here, and that's just seeing Catherine, Catherine could, um, Let's see how we can do this. Actually, I'll leave it and I'll let you show it just, just to be safe. Why don't we go back to Catherine? She'll show you finished inspirations. Okay, so that's one option. Then down here, we've got neon. Now, neon, set of four. As you can see, now this is real go to town. I wonder if in the dark these would glow. We can't, we can't say that. 
don't know. Probably, maybe not. But they're nice, they're bright, they're neon. $16.99 uh, is your uh, price there. Just going to show you the uh, blob paints, and this is why they are. I found a little example just down here. Show, look at that. Oh, yes. Do you know, this would be great. The blob paint would be nice to do. What's the... Um, you know, have you ever seen to ward off the evil eye? There's that the, is it the eye of Horus or something like that? Ah, look. The Turkish eye. The yeah, okay. They call it the Greek eye. The Greek eye. Well, I don't know. It's like when Greek says <laughs> Greek delight. It's Turkish delight. Ooh. Uh, 1699 is your price. 158270, your item number. Right, let's move on. We've got a pick and mix with regard to our stamps. Catherine was blown away by the price. And when I saw the price, I followed and suit. I mean, you, you, incredible. Eleven ninety nine. you were getting to pick any two of these stamp sets. So just, I'm going to show you. Let me just lift these up so we can see the bottom. Look at the size of those. It's a wonderful sort of fleur de lis swirls coming in. It's not, actually, fleur de lis is wrong, but it gets swirls. <laughs> it was wrong, wasn't it? <laughs> sounded, sounded like I knew what I was talking about, but totally wrong. And then you've got your background textures in there, so chevrons, bubbles. Oh, this one would be, that would be definitely one of my go-tos. 100%, 100%. And then coming down here, mm, I think I'd go for the fairies. I tell you, do you know what I love about the fairies? You could create, say, a background with your explosion powders, your brushos, and literally just stamp the fairo, uh, fairo, uh, the fairies on there. You could stamp a pharaoh on there if you wanted. Look fantastic. You've got your flowers coming through. Oh, now see, I like the flowers as well. I might have to double up. If it was me, I'd be tempted to double up and maybe go for a couple of options. But the choice is entirely yours. Eleven ninety nine. you get to pick any two. So let's just say these were my options. Look at that for eleven ninety nine. You're getting an awful lot. And these are sizable stamp sets. So you can see these aren't itty bitty. Let me put my hand in shot to show you. There is a lot going on there. Okay, let me pop those down. There we go. Busy for these earlier on, and we're busy for these this hour as well. 273432, your item number. The concrete is incredible. We are limited stock for our concrete. It is about to go for the second time. Uh, it's going to be dispatched from the 9th of May. Uh, we, I know that Catherine's been using the concrete in the moulds as well. Yes, if you if you were lucky enough to get any of the Zuri molds, and can I just say I was having a little bit of a chin wag uh, with Catherine, and the first thing I said because I haven't seen Catherine in ages, I said the show, the Zuri show was incredible, uh, and you can see how much Catherine enjoyed it. I said when when you come in with the next show, there is. There are discussions, things come up in the future. Just watch this space because the Zuri molds are amazing and also the Prima shows were great as well. Okay, concrete works with your molds. That's all I wanted to get across. Uh, now we've got the Inca Gold as well. Oh, the Inca Gold. It is opulent. You use this stuff and you don't need to use a lot and it looks incredible. So there are your Inca Gold, uh, $17.99. Now they're coming in sets of three. This is our first option. I'm just going to show you, there's the first option, let me put this to one side. So this is all silver, uh, this is the silver, champagne and apricot. Then next option, cobalt blue, copper and petrol, or copper and petrol. And then you've got your teal blue, um, green, green yellow and hydrangea. So many colours. So many colours. Uh, have a little look. Seventeen ninety nine is your price. Concrete, I'm afraid, it's gone. Oh, concrete! I tell you what, you're getting so much for that concrete. Uh, that unfortunately has gone. Wait, with the concrete, nine ninety nine. I was watching, but I didn't see the price. Nine ninety nine. Okay. Uh, right. We're going to hand back to Catherine. We have got some finished examples, so to share with you. Look at this. Now this has been sent in by Denise. I love that. So she made this card this morning with the blob paint. It just goes to show. Now, what I find, Denise, awesome job. So Denise showing you the different ways you can use your blob paint. Have some fun, explore, find different techniques. I like that. Catherine had a great shout because Catherine was saying, if you have uh, like a, a mat, a Teflon mat that nothing will stick to, or a non-stick mat, I should say, so no branding, uh, other, pro other brands are available. Uh, but if you have one of those mats, you can put the blob on there and create your own embellishments as well. I am saying that, Catherine? 
You can do that. You certainly can do that. And a question I was asked last time, I, th I think, do you know, I've got a good memory for names. I'm pretty certain it was Sylvia that emailed in and said, could you use this onto acetate? Yes, you can. I did try it. So you can go onto acetate as well. That's the blob paint. Um, we have had another question in, actually, from Joanne. Joanne is asking, what happens... <laughs> what happens if you put the blob paint on a lazy Susan and spin it? A lazy Susan is one of those turntables, like you get in the middle of your patio table, you know, when you're having a barbecue or something. Or we see them here, the whirly gig things that uh, Maggie and Kay bring, they have lazy Susans in them. If you spin it really, really fast, you could get some pretty nice effects, or you might just get splatters all over your clothes. I have no idea. No idea. But it won't mud. Let us know, Joanne. I'm going to do... So oh, how much... Oh, to see, I'm not going to have enough time again today. I've got so many things I want to show you. Right. I do want to... We sold out of the concrete, but I want to just show you a few things before the end of the show uh, that we did earlier. But just at the moment, sticking with the blob paint. Now, this... I used gesso when I did this before, but I haven't got any gesso with me. So this is actually... Probably needs a bit of a, sp a stir. This is a Viva Decor chalky, vintage chalky paint. I haven't stirred it, so it's not quite as sort of covering as well as I like, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to do something else with it. So what I'm going to do is just go with a little bit of regular paint, it's not the blob paint, over there. And while that's wet, I'm going to use some of the Viva Decor and I'm just going to add, just with my finger there, I'm just going to add one or two blobs of the purple. Uh, one or two of the blue, that's the cobalt blue, and I'm running out of fingers now, trying not to contaminate these colours. And then a little bit of the yellow green or the green yellow as well. Okay, now while that's wet and I've still got paint on that brush, I'm then just going to sort of go across, kind of flicking that brush across and blend the Viva Decor, the Inca Gold, into the paint. So you get it. doesn't matter how many blobs you put on. The more you put on, the more colour you're going to get. But just working that across, it gives a really lovely effect in the background. And as that dries, that looks really, really nice. So there we are. So it's an easy way of using the Inca Gold and creating your backgrounds. Now, I have got one that I did earlier. Let me just see if I can find a bit of kitchen towel just to clean up. Oh, I love getting messy. It's a good job, isn't it? Right, let me just wipe that up a little bit. So if I put that to one side, I've got one, did this one in different colours. That's the petrol, the cobalt, and I believe the copper there as well. Um, right, so that's nice and dry, but it was done in exactly the same way. I'm just going to turn it that way. Using one of the stamps, I'm not sure the name of this one, but it's got little dandelions and uh, flowers in there. Uh, it's the background meadow, I believe. And I'm using Picket Fence ink, which is a hybrid ink. Uh, if you're going to add any moisture or alcohol pens or water or anything, you want an ink that's going to work. So I'm just stamping that up there. And then I'm just going to stamp that into the bottom of my little uh, circle there, which will give me a bit of interest. So you can see there we have got, so the stamps are great for building up those little seams. And then what I'm going to do then is just come back in with my blob paints again. I'm not going to, which colour shall I use? I'm going to go with the set of seven, set of seven. Um, I could have used the stencil as well. Uh, this is white. So just again, just adding one or two little dots into the background. Just if you just want those tiny little bits of detail. So I could have done it actually onto the dandelion itself and done really tiny ones. Oops. And sort of had as, as though the seeds were flowing away. Now these paint, they're just amazing to work with. They are absolutely fantastic. And of course, if you've got flowers, in fact, can we bring in one of the stencils? Would that be all right? I don't know if uh, I can just grab that. I'm just going to just going to grab one. While I'm getting that, we're just going to show you some more pictures, I think. So, oh! <laughs> what happened there? Oh, there we are. That's the flower meadow. We've got the fish there as well. This is a few ideas. Oh, there's so much I want to show you, and I'm going to run out, aren't I? I've run out of time, but never mind. We're going to have to come back and do this all again another time. 
These are absolutely great fun. And thank you to the lady who sent in that picture of the card as well for a grant. And that was fantastic. It was Denise, I believe, that sent it in. Right, okay, now I haven't got any paint on this, but just to show you, with one of the stencils, this is the flower meadow. If you've got a big piece of grey board or MDF or something like that, you can do the whole thing. But I'm just going to bring in a sponge and a bit of ink. You can use your paint, uh, your ink of gold. Actually, I'll use the ink of gold. Why not? Because I've got it. Let's go with oh, this nice apricot colour. Details at the bottom of the screen. Apricot comes with the old silver and the champagne. I love these. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to go in with my sponge. Just kind of work that into the sponge a little bit. Just pick a bit more colour up. And I'm going straight in. This would work so much better if I'd gessoed the MDF first so you could see the colours a little bit better. But you can, of course, stencil with your Inca Gold as well. And because it's got that beautiful shimmer and sheen to it, when it's dry, if you want to polish it up even further, you can do, but it's just got a lovely, lovely effect. I'm going to go with a couple of colours, actually, while I can. So I'm just going to build up a little bit of the apricot there. A brush might have been better to do that with, actually. See, I've gone off on a tangent now. And my brushes are a bit dry. I don't know if that's going to work very well. It's a bit of a scratchy brush, never mind. I'm just going to bring a second colour into that and just blend it a little bit. Try not to move that stencil. Let's go with, I think this is a champagne. Yes, this is champagne. So these are from the same set, actually. Just go with a little bit of the champagne. And again, my brush. Try and use a softer brush than I've got. Mine's gone a little bit crunchy. I've had... Uh, <laughs> I've had some paint on there or some glue or something. So it's only going to be very subtle, but I'm just going to use a little bit of colour, dragging it from the centre outwards. And then when we take that off, there, you can see we've got, it, it's got that beautiful shimmer to it. Can we see the shimmer there? It's not dry, obviously, so, and that would have looked a lot, lot better if I'd painted the surface first. But then, of course, you will go in with your colours uh, with your blood paints and you can start to pick out some colours so if you wanted to go into the centre I'm using the same paints from the set of the, the flower meadow this is where the stencil's from so obviously there, just to show you again if you want to make that bigger just go back in, hold the bottle upright and just squeeze gently and the paint will just flow out and it keeps that beautiful sort of domed circle there you cannot do that with other paints they're just too thin they would just spread they really would just spread right how much time have I got right let's do something a little bit different then I uh, just wanted to show you with the stencil there now then let's have a look at the bundles as well because we have got the different options of course so the flower meadow that's got the yellow in that I've just used as well so you've got six paints I don't think we've actually told you I just say it on the screen but I don't think we've actually uh, verbalized it there's 90 millilitres in each each uh, tub there so a lot of paint then we've got the dandelion there for you most popular option that is my personal favorite I've got to say and then we've got the flower meadow actually I like them all because the colours work beautifully. There's the balloon girl. 185635 is the item number. And of course, you have got those three options, and you can get more than one if you want to as well. Right, let's. What colours haven't we used? Shall we go with the neons? Just because we can. Let's go with the neons. I've just got another little piece of. Uh, this is plywood, actually. Going back to the fact that if you want to do this in the way they were first intended and leaving the 24 hours, being an impatient crafter and also demonstration time, haven't got that choice. Let's do something a little bit different. So this is something you can do without waiting for that drying time as well. So I'm just going to shake all these up and take the lids off because I will probably use all four colours and I think I'm going to bring in the black from the set of seven as well. So it's very, very useful. So I'm just going to grab that. Uh, set of seven. Details going to put the bottom of the screen for you. So I've got all the lids off there. 
<laughs> I don't know if any of these need need uh, the nozzles and blocking because I've not used these since the last show. I'm not going to do what I did before again. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going to start with the neon orange and I'm just going to go in and put a few blobs in. So we'll go with, we'll go with various different sizes. Oh, it's so it's so addictive this paint you once you get going with it you don't want to put it down it really is fantastic okay so one or two different dots in different sizes in the orange there and then normally as I say you would leave that 24 hours before you then go with your next color but I'm not going to do that uh, I'm going to go straight in now so I'm going to go in <laughs> I'm going to go straight in, not with all of these, with the yellow, the neon yellow. So because it isn't dry underneath, the colours will not dome the same, but they don't mix. You don't get mud. If you did this with another paint, you'd just get mud. Oh, that bit just fell there. And then I'm going to do a few more dots just on their own in the yellow as well. I'm just kind of filling the spaces in. So let's go with the green next. Same thing again. I can go over the top of some of these with the green. Let's go on the orange. And also we'll go into the center of some of these as well. So because I'm not allowing that drying time, I am going to get them to start to join together and spread a little bit, but they're not turning to mud. So a little bit of the green. So I'm purposely now starting to join these together so you can see how they're starting to mix. You're getting some re you get some really interesting, lovely sort of effects. Let's go in with the pink now. Oh, look, this one's stuck. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I need my pin. I need my pin. <laughs> I'm not going there twice. Ah, there's a little bit of paint just coming out there. And now we've... Ah, we've had a question in. Um, can we swirl them? Yes, we can. I'm going to do that. Oh, who's that from? Morgan, age six. Yes, Morgan, you can. We're going to do that. We'll show you that. So I'm showing you kind of three different things here all at once. So I'm filling in the gaps. Filling in the gaps there. Let's just sort of build those colours up a little bit as well. Oh, I love that pink. Oh, these neons are great, aren't they? Do you know, children could use these. They're not, you know, they're non-toxic, so um, obviously supervised by adults. But while people are at home, just just make sure that adults sort of are involved and not let the children do it on their own. Right, okay. So now I'm going to go in with some of the black just in between each colour. And then we, we can go in a little bit on top of some of the pink as well. Let's just do one or two there. Oh, I'm liking the neons. Right, okay. Just for Morgan, let's, let's give them a swirl. So, there's a couple of things I was going to do, but now Morgan's asked. Oh, look at that. Because of the paint, because when you swirl, now if you, if you keep stirring and stirring and stirring, they will mix together so it starts with a different colour, but they're not just going into uh, mud. They're not. So you've got, I really like that actually. I like that area there. What I was going to do was sort of tip it around as well because you can, you can get it to move as well. So <laughs> So you can get it to sort of really dis Can you see how that's moving? That's just showing you how they will not just mix together. I'm trying not to let it tip off the edge, but I want it to kind of mix a little bit as well. They're just great fun. They really are. So Morgan, yes, you can definitely swirl the paints. So just have fun with them. Just have a play with them and have fun with them. They're really, really, really good. Now, uh, <laughs> we are almost at the end of the show 
I've had so much fun doing this. Let's have a look at a few of our pictures, and then if I've got time, just right at the end, I'm just going to show you one or two things with the concrete as well. Um, right, home decor. Look at the balloon girl. What a great image that is to have that on a, on a wall in a children's bedroom. Piece of art, contemporary art in any room in the house. Do think about applying the paints to other surfaces as well, to ceramic, to plastics, to wood. Just have fun with them and just play around with them. Do have a go at the mandala type dot painting as well because that's really really interesting i'm going to do much more of that i'm going to have a practice with that uh, now we are almost at the end of the show but i know we've sold out of the concrete again but if you do go back to the show at three o'clock this morning i was showing you how you could use the concrete with your molds uh, we did talk about zori if i just bring in these couple of butterflies here that were done with the zori molds you can see with the concrete how wonderfully they pick up the colour. But what you can also do then, of course, is go with the inker. Go with the inker and you can start... In fact, I'm going to use a bit of a paintbrush for this if I can. Let's just stamp that paintbrush. Because you can add water to these as well and paint with them. So I'm just using a little bit of inker gold with some water and then you can start to paint it. So this is onto concrete. So your air dry clay, um, paper, card, all those different surfaces the Inca Gold will work on. And just using them as paints is absolutely incredible. I haven't got time to really do too many colours. I'm just going to see if I can bring a bit of that green in while I've got a chance, if I've not lost it. There it is. So don't just think you've got to use these straight from the tub you really can use them in different ways so you see me mix these with paint to form backgrounds and now I'm just picking up with a little bit of water and I'm bringing in the colors that way as well so a little bit of the green yellow or the yellow green there as well and then oh we're gonna run out of time I think I think we're gonna run out of time where's the time gone this evening um, we're now almost at the end of the show. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really want to come back with these paints again, plus the concrete. Hopefully we can get stuck again because it just is incredible stuff. The concrete, for those that have got it, you can use it outside. Use it in your garden. Use it for your garden ornaments, your pots, things like that. It's incredible. Do watch the, the, uh, the show from earlier on. Right, we are about at the end of the show. Yanis is coming up again. Uh, of course, we've got another We've got another one-day special coming up. We've got a couple more shows for you. We've got the 8 o'clock and the 9 o'clock. I'm going to give you the menu in a second, and then I've got to tidy up, and I'm going to go home. But it's been great coming back. Oh, Yanis is going to do the menu. I can just tidy up instead. Thanks for joining me. It's been lovely. I've had a blast. See you soon. Bye-bye. Great job, Catherine. So coming up next, we have another look at our fabulous one-day special, All and Create. Uh, after that, we've got Joseph Bear Designs and then another fantastic hour with All and Create. So lots to enjoy here at Hochanda. So we have a very special message for all our wonderful viewers in the US of A. Now, we did have to temporarily suspend shipping uh, to the United States due to the current COVID-19 pandemic. We apologize for that, but Good news, uh, we are now once again resuming shipping to America, but we have had to raise prices of uh, individual items. You see now, if you were to buy an individual item, it will cost $12.95. That's uh, to reflect the new shipping cost. But here's the thing. We haven't raised the price of Freedom Membership, so you could not pick a better time to become a Freedom Member. So Freedom Membership, still $19.99. And as a Freedom Member, you get exclusive member discounts. But here's the thing. Uh, any purchase you make on Hochanda, we will ship from the UK to the US of A. And as a Freedom Member, you do not pay anything. That is one of the major perks. So you couldn't have picked a better time to become a Freedom Member. Keep crafting. Stay happy. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products.